The drug of choice to treat an, an ear infection, proven, is still amoxicillin. It's still amoxicillin. But it's a bigger dose. It's about 80 to 90 milligrams per kilogram. Per Again, kilogram. that's... Uh, Har seems to have left the barn because everybody is now using this bigger dose. Do but you have you to really, all the time? No. The recommendation actually says if you think the child is at higher risk for having acquired resistant pneumococci, and that's usually children under two years of age, recent antibiotic use, children attending daycare centers. So the first time the kid gets an ear infection, you probably could go to the 40 milligram per kilogram, the old dose. That's right. But if it keeps reoccurring, step it, it up to the 80 to 90 milligram. Correct. But let's say, properly diagnosed, it's not just fluid, it's symptomatic, reoccurring. What would you do as your second choice? Um, there's several second choices. Any of the second line. But yours, is you, well, you are most. What, what are you most comfortable with? Well, we typically would. Uh, I would typically add clavulanic acid, and that comes in the form of amoxicillin plus clavulanic acid, generic or Organic. brand name. Okay. Um, or actually, any of the cephalosporins. Um, second and third generation. Are are uh, have almost equal efficacy in that setting, and one of the reasons for failure in that setting could be beta lactamase producing. Haemophilus and Moraxella, which are the number two and three isolated pathogens from the middle ear. So this way you're covering beta-lactamase-producing gram-negatives as well as highly resistant pneumococci.